Well, I'm here with I Indigo Palazzo. They are here. Why don't you guys in introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Chib. I play bass and I do screaming backup vocals. Uh, my name's Andrew. I play some guitar, do some harmony as well. I'm Tyler McDonald, uh, more formally known as the Anaconda Slayer. I, uh, I play guitar and I sing, if you can call it singing. Hi, I'm Spencer and I play the drums. So, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. Wait, so <laughs> is, is, is Anaconda Slayer like on your resume or um, you go around and just be like, hi, my name is Tyler. Well, I don't really need a resume because, you know, usually I'm, like, scouted by employers, yeah. you know, more so than, you know, having to actually apply for a job. Oh. He also oh. shaves it into his chest, just in case. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Is it in your chest for right now? Yeah. The letter T is shaved into my chest right now. Could I see it? Yeah. <laughs> now, did you do that prior to the show just to impress me? Because, man, you, you did. I'm, I'm <laughs> blushing. He, he, no, he actually, did it just for you. Yeah, thank you. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> so you guys are kind of different than, uh, you know, my usual guests and whatnot. What kind of crowd or, or demographic do you guys pull at your shows? Um, yeah, go for it. Anyone who likes punk rock or like some skate punk like uh, No Effects and Propagani and stuff like that? Uh, for the most part, people too young for me to hit on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually it's a pretty young crowd. It's, it's usually how it is. There's not, there's not much of an older like punk crowd in Toronto lately. Mm. Yeah. At least not for skate punk. That's right. We're keeping it alive. <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah. have, um, have created your own genre, polka punk. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> I think you guys are the only guys known for that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As far Ever. as I know. Spencer, welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. I, I've missed you, man. I've missed you, too. How do you miss being here in Say, in say Radio? Yeah, it's been, been a while. It was fun work coming here when I was in school. Yeah? Who was your favorite teacher, do you think? Uh, what was the teacher that we had for most of our classes? I can't, <laughs> remember, the <laughs> I can't remember the name. It's been a long time. All right, let me just name him out. Jim Carr, Evelyn It Lamarca. was Jim Carr. Oh, okay, good. The first one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we didn't even practice this before. <laughs> Sorry, I have a really sh bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Well, I don't know why not, but why Nintendo covers? You know, what, what, what's 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 the thing behind that? You said it. Why not? Right? Yeah, we're just all huge fans. Yeah. Nintendo heads. We all what, what's your favorite Nintendo anything? Starting with Spencer, go. Um, for me, it would be Final Fantasy. Mm. Yeah, I'm with Spencer on that one. Uh, I'm Zelda man myself. Yeah, I'm obviously the Pokemon master in the. In hey. <laughs> hey. I get so annoying. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Listen. Hey. Listen. <laughs> Well, yep. we did have the um, the best '90s. I gotta say, inspiring Pokemon and Zelda and stuff. And what I love about the '90s is that we had, you know, we had Pokemon and Fox Kids Saturday mornings. You guys remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Kirby show. Oh, the <laughs> Kirby show. And well, yeah, a plethora of movies. I you, you name some what like the Indian in the Closet, Hook, oh, oh, yeah. Hook. Hook Jumanji. Oh, Jumanji. Yeah. yeah. So what What was your favorite 90s or childhood memory if you weren't in the 90s? I don't know if all of us here are. In the um, for me, I'd have to say The Samurai Pizza Cats was a freaking awesome show. Yeah? Samurai yeah. Cats. Introduction to anime and everything. Well, uh, for me, recording cassette tapes off the radio so I could play them in my Walkman. <laughs> yeah, I was a big fan of the Discman. Uh, but yeah, I got to say, the, the Discman... It's like oh, Pac-Man. No, no, a Discman. <laughs> yeah, what, what's what? like like an MP3 player except for oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I thinking? Yeah, wow. yeah. People don't yeah, even yeah. remember what those were anymore, right? I remember those too. I used to listen to my Aqua CDs. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. I'm a yeah. Barbie girl. <laughs> in a Barbie world. <laughs> in a world completely made of Barbies. <laughs> one girl. One <laughs> girl. One kid. <laughs> Spencer, what about you? What's your favorite nineties? Probably Dragon Ball Z. Dragon oh, yeah. Ball Z. Yeah, you can't forget that. You know, <laughs> takes like an hour to. You know, let's just sum up Dragon Ball Z like. Come uh, it's oh. over nine thousand. Piccolo. <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna ask you, the listener, what is your favorite '90s moment or childhood memory? Go ahead and post it on my wall, Doctor Doctor T Show at Facebook, and you, you can also find uh, the Indigo Plateaus page on my page as well. I heard a rumor about one of you guys that you guys are you guys are overcompensating for something. Oh, I don't know. if anything, undercompensating would oh. be the word. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> one of you is just prone to have children here. Now, can we now now, now can we talk about this? What's going on here? Andrew oh. has three balls. There we go. I didn't want to <laughs> say it. I wanted you guys to. Yes. Well, 
uh, Follow up know. on that, Andrew. Yeah. Well, you know, I've got a bit of a surplus going on, so I've been told. I just assumed everyone had that many growing up. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you uh, do you use that as a pickup line or what? Almost constantly. Yeah, you know, hey, what's it, up? I'm sure it, it worked on yeah. neither. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Tyler's pretty Yo, happy is, with that note. Is the T on your chest for testicle? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's for it Tyler. It makes up you know, for your testicle is messing up. Now, see that, that this, is tremendous. This is, uh, this is the inspiration for the next song called Balls that you guys oh, yeah. uh, have prepared. <sighs> yep. <laughs> yeah. It's about uh, a few very special friends of mine. <laughs> three of them. <laughs> three to be a friend. Well, we're going to honor those three friends and play it now. Here's Balls by the Indigo Plateau. Stay tuned till 7 o'clock at 6.30. Colin, we'll give you guys some passes to the next show. Another song by the Indigo Plateau, the great.
Nina. Nina New Yorker joins us again for some celebrity gossip. Take it, Nina. Hey, hey there, it's Nina with your latest celebrity gossip. Okay, so apparently American Idol producer Nigel Lithgow wants Charlie Sheen and Jerry Lewis to be on the judging panel. Okay, first of all, I had no idea Jerry Lewis was even alive, or even Charlie Sheen, really. Anyway, nothing has been confirmed, but I mean, why not pick singers to judge a singing contest? I don't know, just a thought, Nigel. Figure it out. As of this morning, Tom Cruise's longtime lawyer, Burt Fields, says the divorce has been settled with a signed agreement between Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. So that's the end of Tomcat. Really seems like just yesterday that Tom was jumping on Oprah's couch confessing his love for Katie and now a divorce? My heart is broken. What about you, doctor? I don't know how I live. Oh, yes, very, very sad, oy vey. And more sad news, poor, poor Usher. I am with you, baby. You know, doctor, I would eat the stale cheese from his balls. That's how much I love this guy. Well, his 11-year-old stepson has been declared brain dead as a result of being hit in the head by a jet ski. Well, that's a transition. Ball, <sighs> ball cheese to jet ski? I, I know, but that's what happens. Now, where I come from, people get hurt when they screw around with Usher. So all I can say is the jackass on the jet ski, look out, Nina's coming after you. Oh my god, a very sad day in the glamorous celebrity world. Hopefully some happier news next time, but that's all for today. Thanks, Doc. Thank you, Nina, for that tantalizing run of, of, of celebrity gossip. Just for the record, I would also eat Usher's ball cheese. That's just, that's just personal, though. Inigo Plateau's song, Pokemon song, The Rude, The Road to Cerulean from Moon. The 17th at 7.30 at Central. Bathurst and Bloor behind Honest Ed's. They're rocking it out. Here's a song by them. I'm going to go by the way. The Zelda Medley. And it's rocking.
Golden Medley by Indigo Plateau. Before that, we had a little Apple Jack, Tigo Pick Control, and Indigo Plateau again with The Road to Cerulean from Moon. I love Pokemon. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah? I guess. That makes all of us, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Right? I, I think I should just get a tattoo of a <laughs> Pokemon. Oh. I was planning on it. Oh, I actually saw. Uh, what, what's up? You got it? Oh, yeah, you got a Charmander or something on your. Oh, no, I don't have anything right now, but I'm going to get the original trainer sprite up on my shoulder. Ah. See, now, I saw a picture the other day. It was uh, it was a condom, and it had a Pokeball on it, and uh, That's really <laughs> it's just got to catch them all. Yeah. <laughs> now, wait, what about this? If you guys were Pokemon, which ones would you be? Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know. I'd definitely be a Cubone. He's got, like, a bone helmet and a bone club. It's awesome. Oh, yeah, true. It's all about boning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Clearly. You're giving me a cute boner. Army. Um, honestly, probably Squirtle because he kind of sounded like a dick, and I appreciate that. I was gonna <laughs> say, there's just every sexual reference to a Pokemon: cute bone, Squirtle. Squirtle. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's go yeah. next. Next Pokemon. Which Let me po- Squirtle on them Jigglypuffs. Yeah, <laughs> yo, my cute bone is about to Squirtle all over your. Oh man, no, that okay. might take way less. Pri- good. Pri- yeah. pri- primate, damn it! <laughs> no, I'd say it'd probably be a Gengar based on his shenanigans oh. and deviousness. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm gonna I cube like boner my fucking. I mean, <laughs> screw it. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Spencer, what about you? I'm gonna be the charming Charmander. Charmander. Char- 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 <laughs> 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 anyway, how about you? If you if you if you played Pokemon back in uh back back in the day, what was your Pokemon that you leveled to 100 first? You know, what was the one that you always used? Everyone had that one Pokemon that they would just beat the Elite Four with. Oh, yeah. You you max out your TMs and your HMs, and then you just rock and roll up. Usually I use Pidgey. Pidgey? Pidgey, Pidgey <laughs> and Charmander. Those were yeah. usually the two I would just play the whole game with. And you wouldn't let them evolve? You'd just keep them? Well, I'd evolve them too, but... Oh. I think you probably should have said Pidgey Hot then. Whatever. Grace. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. They know what I mean. Yeah. Well, see... That uh, that last Zelda cover blew my mind, and actually, a band that you were in Spencer for like two weeks. For we a, had, we a actually did uh, a Zelda song too. Do you want to hear it? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well let's well let's compare after. We'll compare the two. Link, he came to town. He came to save the princess Zelda. But got and took her away And now the children don't play But they will When Link saved the day Hallelujah! Now Link, fill up your heart So you can shoot yourself with power And when you're feeling all down A fairy will come around And you receive your golden shield and armor Now Link I save the day and kill me out. I need his joy now. And now I tell that you're free. Now I hear it shall be. Link, I think your name will go down in history. Link. So, what do you think about that? I, I thought that was pretty rad, dude. Oh, that yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, pretty yeah, excellent singing. Yeah, oh, well, thank you. Come on. Who was the vocals for that one? Are you the vocals? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, thank that you. was glorious, man. I, I still think you guys are a lot better. <laughs> Appreciate it, boy. That one had lyrics, though. So it was good. Yeah. It's got one up on us. Wow. Still, I've always wondered who did the original. Everyone sings System of a Down. But Is it System not. of a Down? No, it's not. It just sounds like System of a Down. Oh. Well. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Scandal in the System of a Down. I think it was. <laughs> okay, maybe yours was better. Let's just give it up, all right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's just move on yeah, to the next question. Where, where have you guys played in Toronto? Um, we play the Central, a place called uh, Club Nocturne. Uh, we yeah. play a lot at Siesta Nouveau, and uh, I repeat Siesta Nouveau. Siesta yeah. Nouveau was the most kick-ass I, venue I, I in all of Toronto. In all, it's it's bad in all of history, and yeah. A uh, shout-out to Lynn. Right? Yeah, cheers to Lynn. Yeah, yeah shout-out to Lynn. Ever. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, we played the Rock Pile a few times, yeah. too. But they made us pay. Yeah, yeah, no, no. So, fuck yeah. that. Yeah. I, mean, I don't like that, the pay to play thing. Pay to play, yeah. And we usually have to pay more than we make. Pay to play. Pay to play. Now, if you do want to hear the personalities live, I think we're doing a little comeback thing in uh, my friend Sean's backyard on the August 24th. And then his parties are actually pretty pretty big. 
So Sweet. if you guys are interested yeah. in seeing the personalities get back together, August 24th at Sean's Backyard. Project Sounds X, good. let's make this Pro- happen. Yeah, exactly. Project X. Project S, Project Salazzo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, uh, I have, I'm under the impression that you guys have a, a, a pretty awesome story, how you guys came together now. And why don't you uh, run me through that? Well, yeah, you see, it was, it was quite the event. Like, uh, we had all individually uh, signed up for this uh, single snowshoeing expedition weekend. And, uh, you know, we all uh, had a, a bit of a name game initiated, uh, you know, introductions for ourselves, I think, if I remember correctly. And so we were introduced, and we got, we got into conversation about, about music and instruments and, you know, the kind of bands that we liked, and we realized we had a lot in common. And uh, before you know it, uh, we had lost sight of, of the tour guide and the group that we were with, and we were all alone, and before you knew it, you know, a blizzard had hit, and we were lost in the blistering snow. You couldn't see two feet in front of your faces. You know, we, we thought we were damn near dead, and the only way that we were going to survive and avoid, avoid a hypothermia was, you know, remove our clothes, get together, and, you know, try to keep warm, you know, body heat, keep us going. And uh, I remember somebody saying, I think it, I think it was Spencer, but it might have been Chib, said, uh, you know, if we survive this, there's no way we're not starting a band. And, you know, I, I took it in jest at the time, but here we are today, you know, sitting before you. This is the musical faction that we became. Did you go fast time? Well, God damn. Uh, she guys should sell that, you know? You guys should make, should make a movie. <coughs> it, was, it wasn't funny at the time, but we looked back. Time, we looked back and I'm Four striving <laughs> boys fighting to survive <laughs> with one goal in mind. That goal being... Indigo Plateau. <laughs> yes. There you go. A better love story than Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> it is, actually. You know. So, Tyler, <laughs> I, 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 met, I met you at the North by Northeast show. Yeah. Uh, and I, it was Bad Religion, right? That was oh, yeah. How, how'd you dig it? Oh, man. Well, No Use for Name was pretty, it was pretty kick-ass at first. And, uh, you know, um, I, I was never really that into uh, Good Redden, so me and Che, we was Went to an alley and got drunk for that. But then we came back for bad Yo, religion. That's, that's where you met me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, we came in back to bad alley. religion. It was uh, actually the third time I'd seen bad religion, and they always put on a kick ass show, but I think that one, they, they totally stole the stage. I got punched square in right. the face. Oh, damn. Nice. Like, right. You gotta love it, though, in the right moment. In the right in the shin. Yeah, and no, no, I, like, like my teeth, I like bit my lip off on them. Oh, oof, gracious. Yeah, yeah. What happens in a pit? Hmm? What happens in a pit? Yeah. It's not always stays in the pit, you, it still hurts after. I wasn't yeah. even in a pit. Oh, oh no. It's <laughs> the worst. When the you're on the edge of the pit, the whole, it's usually like, the biggest. All of Dundas Square was a pit, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was like multiple pits. Yeah. Scary. Now, other than being drunk, what do you guys see yourself in like five years? Um, more drunk? More? Yeah. <laughs> really, really. It's a great drunk. answer. Uh, you, know, you know, successfully. Hopefully, like, <laughs> touring with no effects. Touring with no effects? Is that what? Like, they, they'd, they'd be cost for 10,000 on the moon. for us. <laughs> Preferably, they okay. stayed open for us. I don't think, but yeah, I mean, Fat Records would be my favorite. I think if you, you just share society. that story and make you guys like orphans or something, they, I think that they'll that do like a sense. charity show yeah. and they'll open up for you. That's <laughs> true. Now, uh, Jen wants to know uh, can you play the theme from Top Gear? That's that racing game, right? I, I don't have, I have no idea. That's something to do with yeah, cars. Actually, that from the, this car. Well, I, actually, uh, I can play it with my eyebrows, I can play it with my, with my kneecaps. With my Adam's apple, uh, behind my back, with my with my pinky toe. But the question I mean, is, can you play it with your sur- with your surgical eyes? Oh, so you'd have to ask Andrew oh, about that. Exactly. I, I mean, you can't. So I was burdened with do- I was burdened with only two. Yeah. I'll get to work. You lucky <laughs> bastard. <laughs> totally forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> good, good question. So, well, uh, I feel you're one of a storyteller there, Ty Ty. Oh yeah. What happened? I only speak the truth, man. Christmas 2008. Christmas 2008. Yeah. What happened then? Well, that was that was an interesting one. You see, uh, you see, they uh, I had some relatives, and they got a hold of this tryptophan, and they tried to put it in the turkey, and they tried to you know get us all to, to fall asleep using using the tryptophan. I don't know what happened after that because I, I fell asleep, but I had a big scar going up up and down like the side of my abdomen. So I can only imagine that they were trying to hurt Mr. Organs. La- last year's Valentine's Day. Last year's Valentine's Day. Uh, well, I, I found these twins, and uh, I brought them back to my place, <laughs> and uh, we played some we played some Pokemon Stadium. You know, they said they wanted to have sex, but I was more interested in the Pokemon Stadium, to be honest. So I don't know. We said our goodbyes. I, I asked for them for the number, but they didn't seem any more interested after that. So you know, I'm still alone. 
Well, they got what they wanted. Okay, fine. <laughs> this one should be the last one and the most interesting. Your bar mitzvah. My bar mitzvah? Yeah. Religion sucks. That's it? I had a feeling that like a robot, a bowling alley, and some pancakes would be involved, but uh, that's all. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be caught dead as a bar mitzvah. No? <laughs> Well, <laughs> now do you guys have any upcoming shows you guys want to promote to get out there to get these guys out other than uh, at Central on Tuesday? Yeah, uh, well, the Central on Tuesday is going to be an acoustic show, so we're going to rock out as hard as we can acoustically. Is, is Spencer going to beatbox? Or? No, he, yeah. he's going to use a, to make, like a small kit, but he actually should get on beatboxing because that sounds right. a lot better. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah, like that. But we also have uh, a tour coming up with... Uh, what? A tour. A tour? A tour? tour? A tour? Uh, you mean a tour? Man. A what? I'm, I'm from Nova Scotia, and like, these guys always I always were asking me for saying tour. How about you say beat? Tour. Okay, we're, we're, going, to, we're going on tour this, uh, this uh, <laughs> upcoming fall. Uh, near the end of August and early September, we're going to be traveling out east with some good buddies, uh, Inspire Influence. And uh, yeah, we'll be heading up some cities on the way to Nova Scotia and back. How do you say beat? Past tense. Bet sometimes. Bet. I say beat also, but you know I'll say bet. Rock the like, bet. I bet Pokemon. I bet Pokemon Blue. You know, sort of thing. Yeah. Right? You know, you had some bets. For I, I bet up that guy. I don't know. Yo, <laughs> leave me alone. I'm gonna go bet off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do say beat off. Beat off is you know I say in certain you know. Say beat off. Say wake up. Say jerk off. The battles. The battles. <laughs> the bet, battles. Yeah. Bet's by Dre. <laughs> no, that's be- by Dre. You got it, man. <laughs> you Ontario. Love uh, well, thank you guys for coming on the show again. Thanks for having oh, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next That's Tuesday so at the Central. Wait, no. Next Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. Next Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can catch these guys at 7.30. It's a $7 cover. Five. $5 cover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks thank you guys for coming again. The next three songs are all Indigo Plateau. If you guys are wondering, Primate, thanks for the five stars in my hands, sir. I just... I. Uh, Okay, before we go, what's the, what's, what's the inspiration for My Hands Hurt? Um, well, it was actually the first song I ever actually wrote with lyrics. I was just kind of playing around, and then my hands... Playing started. around with what? I was playing around <laughs> on my guitar. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. And then my hands started hurting. <laughs> playing ska. Well, playing ska, mm-hmm. kind of I ironically. I song. actually only wrote the first verse. Tyler wrote the second verse about, you know, the dirty stuff. The what? Jacking off. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. it. Thank you guys again for coming in. Next show, Last Bullet's going to return to preview their new album. Right, that's right, that's dropping. So stay tuned. Till late. I'll be here.
push this kid any further than I can throw him. Bad me, Ed. You shouldn't throw anybody. That was kind of harsh. I know, dude. There's no way they were talking about us. You don't even do anything that bad. Man, we sneak into the school every week. You think that's great? Yeah, but we provide the best content. True dad! True dad! Secret show. Sundays at 5. Sportos, motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, waste boys, dweebies, dickheads. They all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. Oh, totally me. Stay radio. On your typical Friday at 1 o'clock, you could be in class. Or you could be listening to SayRadio.net in the Altered Alternative Hour. I got a place to go. Radio, radio, radio. The show that plays everything and coincidentally caters to your every single mood. Old, new, mainstream, or underground, it doesn't matter. Whatever tickles your fancy. Friday's at 1. So if you would like an ulterior motive to alter your alternative lifestyle, Marlowe's Altered Alternative is altering altered alternatives every Friday from 1 to 2 o'clock. Yuri, the Russian intern's here to do a little weather report. Yuri! See radio, Toronto weather. Tonight is 16 but clear, so, uh, you know, you go outside, have some fun, it's a good time. Tomorrow, 19 is sunny, it's, you know, it's hot, but not as hot as Thursday, it's 32 degrees. Now, this is hot, you walk outside, burn yourself, walk back in, it's air conditioning, you freeze yourself, you cannot decide what temperature. Currently, outside of Sea Radio, is 26 degrees, with some sun. Now, Yuri, today is a very special day for you, yes, wait. Because I'm giving you another segment or another thing to talk about. Well, oh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I talk about this weekend box office, you know, the movies that come out, the, the, the big ones that come out. Number one, the first one is The Amazing Spider-Man. It's with 62 million. I, I saw that, yes? Uh, how you like? We'll get into that, you know? We'll get into that later. Okay. Number two, Ted with Talking Teddy Bear is Mark Wahlberg. 32 million. He's lot. Number three, Brave with 19 million. Four, Savage is 16 million. And five is the Magical Mike with 15 million. It's, a, it's actually Magic Mike. What? Magic Mike. You said magical. What? He is magical. Why? Wait, why is he so magical? Why is a movie called Mad Mike? Magical. Magic. On, well, they got me saying it. Magic Mike. Okay, why? I don't know. He's got magic abs. Okay, yes, he's able to see a magical. Okay, that is it. Thank you, Yuri. Yuri, the Russian intern, everybody. If you're wondering where uh, Karen Hassenberg went, she's in L.A., Los Angeles, California. She said she's out there for modeling, but uh, she's not, you know, she's not the best-looking chick, so I think it's a little different. I think she's, I don't want to put a divvy on her name or anything, but I definitely think she's, uh, she's going there for porn. Another new Rush song, Seven Cities of Gold. <laughs> it's going out to Ray. So, yes, I did see the new Spider-Man. I saw it yesterday with my sexy Greek girl, Maria. I got to say, though, I don't know. I, I liked it, but I didn't like it the, at the same time. And, and I know it's based off of a different series than the original, but I don't, I don't know. I keep, I keep comparing them, man. But, but I do do that with any remake. You know, I just can't help it. But Spider-Man, that's just the beginning this summer. This summer is going to rock for movies. You know, The Dark Knight Rises next Friday. I'm counting down the minutes. The new remake of Total Recall. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you the truth. I haven't seen the original, so. <laughs> Still looks good, you know. It's any movie with Colin Farrell in it, I kind of I kind of do like. But what do you think? What movie do you want to see th this summer the most? Wh which one can't you wait for? And you can respond to that on my wall. 743 Say Radio, you say it, and Dr. Taylor North here. We'll play it for you. That's right, that's what I'm all about. For future, for future reference, if you want to know anything and everything except for Nicki Minaj and One Direction, I will play. I'll give it a shot. Just not Nicki Minaj and One Direction. I hate them. I hate them so much. The chair of Mayor Rob Ford's Homelessness Task Force wants to dismantle the city's shelter system and sweep the homeless off Toronto's sidewalks, forcefully, if needed, into transitional homes. Now, first I read this, and I was, you know, I, I was like, what the hell? But then, you know, they're getting, like, homes instead of, you know, just all bunking together, eating soup or 
whatever they do in town. Oprah is having some family issues after saving her father's barbershop business from closure. She bought the Nashville, t uh, Tennessee barbershop, which her dad, Vernon Winfrey, has run for 50 years in an auction on Friday after, after he faced losing the business's new building to foreclosure. Good on you, Oprah. But things just had, had to go right. Vernon's wife, Barbara, who filed divorce papers against Vernon earlier that week, claims that she's been locked out of the family company by her stepdaughter, Oprah, and would have been able to pay off the store's debts all by herself. Well, go screw yourself, Barbara. Go screw yourself right, <laughs> right, right in the wind for you.